हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन माय प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ एसटीएलसी मॉडल दैट इज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग सो इट्स माय फेवरेट टॉपिक सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस वट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग सो इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग ए बग इन द सॉफ्टवेयर so uh, yeah here you can see the bug but not this bug here bug means it's a defect okay so it is the process of finding a defect in the software is called software testing or else you can say that verifying the functionality of an application against requirement specification is called software testing so let's take an example okay here is your requirement specification and your functionality okay what is your requirement specification it's like when you click on sales sales page should display and product p1 p2 p3 should display so when you click on sales page that sales page should display so what is the functionality according to the requirement what is the functionality when you click on sales page okay the sales page should display okay it is the sales page okay just imagine this is a sales page okay when you click on sales page the sales page should display and product p1 p2 p3 should display so so for now the test case is passed okay according to the requirement specification the functionality is working fine okay so now this is passed if it is not then there is a bug okay now let's take an another example uh, suppose it is mentioned that uh, that is the requirement specification like when you click on mobiles the mobile space should display okay this is the flipkart site okay when you click on mobiles the mobile page should display so now yeah here the mobile page is displaying means there is no bug okay this is the functionality when you click on that mobile page the mobile page displayed so this is the functionality right and also the test case is pass okay now we will uh, discuss about why we do software testing okay so what is happening Uh, every software supports business. If there are any defects in the software, it affects business. So before we use the software for the business, it must be tested to find all the bugs and solve it, and also to improve the quality of the product. And uh, yes, that's why we do software software testing, and also to check whether the software is working according to the customer requirement specification. okay that's why we do software testing so so let's take an example suppose you were thinking about uh, to buy a car right uh yeah just imagine so before buying a car what will you do you will check all the details right you you will check that uh, specification as feature what is the features that car is providing right so you will check all the details of the car then after that what will you do you will book a test drive right why you are booking a test drive because you wanted to check that the features they are claiming uh, that exactly that uh, product is providing or not right so and also the look and feel of the product how it looks like exactly the color is matching or not and like uh, its feel its comfort yeah its safety everything you are uh, just testing yeah in that uh, test drive you are checking all that things right so i mean you are also checking that uh, yeah your all features whatever your requirement specification for that product that exactly match to you that to that product or not right so that's why here also we are doing for that reason we are doing software testing so that uh, whatever customers requirement specification is exactly match to that software 
or not okay well, if there is any bug in the software then we can find the bugs and solve it so that it will improve the quality of the product that's why we do software testing okay next so now we will discuss about types of software testing right so how many types of software testings are there basically i have classified in yeah three types that is first is your um, black uh, white box testing gray box testing and black box testing or white box testing you can also call as unit box testing open box testing or structural testing and black box testing you can also called as functional testing closed box testing or behavioral testing and gray box testing is a combination of white box testing and black box testing okay today we will discuss about what is white box testing okay white box testing is like testing each and every line of code is called white box testing and it is generally done by developers so they will basically they will write program and uh, if there is any work they will test each and every line of code where the bugs comes from so they will test each and every line of code so that's why it is called white box testing okay and next is why it is called as why it is called as unit testing so smallest unit of the software is one line of code since they have testing each and every line of code it is called as a unit testing okay so some smallest part is one line of code so they are testing developers are testing each and every line of code so that's why, that's why it is called unit testing and here the source code is visible so it is called as open box testing yeah the source code is visible so for that it is also called as open box testing so let's uh, see what is the source code okay so so source code is nothing like it's a human readable instructions that a programmer that a programmer uh, writes when he is developing a program the source code is run through a compiler to turn it into machine code so it is also co called as object code that a computer can understand and execute okay so it is like it is an example that uh, language that two children used to speak to each other right so source code is acting like that only it converts programmer programming language to machine level, level language okay right so that's why it is called source code uh, example is like notepad notepad plus plus eclipse your visual studio code sublime test here in that thing you can write your program by using this you can write your program okay so okay next we'll discuss about two types of white box testing so first is your path testing then is your condition testing then your loop testing and finally your white box testing from memory more point of view and white box testing from performance point of view so four types of testing basically it involves white path testing condition testing loop testing and white box testing from memory point of view and white box testing from performance point of view in the next video we will discuss one by one what is path testing right so till then bye bye Thank you so much and please don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel. Thank you so much.